Hello, this is Paul Check again. Welcome back to my explanation of Check Life Process Alchemy, my upcoming workshop. You can go to my page where I have a highlight reel. I recommend if you're coming into this at any stage down the line, go back and watch the videos from the beginning so you can understand the steps I'm taking you through. This video is just to introduce you to the basic components that are involved in the Check Life Process Alchemy process. Now this is just a handwritten um, diagram. When you take the workshop, you'll get a manual that's very beautiful, lots of images, lots of diagrams, and practical stuff for your work. Alchemy is based on an elemental concept. The first thing you got to understand is the alchemists don't think of the elements like most left-brainers do that poo-poo alchemy and think earth is dirt, water is water, fire is fire in the fireplace, and air is air you breathe and say, how the hell do you get the world out of that, dot, dot, dot. The alchemists saw the elements as ranges of vibrational frequency. They saw that everything came from source and stepped down from the highest vibrations, which for the alchemists was fire. Then it stepped down to air, then to water, then to earth. So fire would be the impulse or the drive to create. Air would be mind the thinking process, the thought process. Now it can also be fire and air. Those are also included. Water is the domain of our emotions and our feelings and earth is where anything is embodied. So we will look at the relationship of how these energies move not only through life but through our body and through our relationships and through society and also how we migrate through spiritual development. In my system, I have Ken Wilber's four quadrants. This is the personal exterior of the body. This is the actor in the story. Here we have the personal interior. That's the domain of your soul or your inner self. This is where your own personal story or your myth lives, for better or worse. This is the collective interior where the cast and the crew, that's everybody that's involved in our life, this is the collective exterior, this is the world stage, this is where the action's at, this is where we're all acting out our dramas, our roles, for better or for worse, and learning how to grow and evolve together. And then here we have the control functions, rhythm, pressure and flow, energy, potential, energy, chemistry, hydration, organisms, and temperature. These things all become much more clear later when we get into the deeper aspects of alchemy. But right now what I wanted you to understand is that this is the model I developed and that's you in the middle. That's called the artifact of the person. In the middle we have the four elements here. In the middle we have the fifth element in alchemy called the quintessence, which is the wisdom you've generated through your life experience. And the goal of the alchemist is to progressively move out of the physical elements into the development of spiritual wisdom so you can transcend the limitations of a physical reality. That's just a little warm-up. I got lots more to share. Keep checking out the videos as they come out and I'll get you dialed in. And for those of you that are really wanting to evolve and become better at what you do personally, professionally, or spiritually, this is the training for you. If you're a looky-loo and you're just flirting around and want another certificate to stick on the wall, don't waste your time because I'm way too deep and too into this for looky-loos. See you soon.